Hello again. Um, on this video, we're going to talk about how you can add a new candidate to the database. So all you need to do is go straight to the candidates uh, module. Um, with these filters, you can you know view different options for records based on some of the uh, save searches or the reports that have already been built. But all you need to do is add a new client, a new candidate, and you know insert all the inf corresponding information. You have the basic information. Last name is mandatory. If you see it in red <clears throat> or with the asterisk here or right next to it, to the field name, that means that it's it's mandated. You cannot leave it blank. Then you have the address information. <clears throat> professional details, you know, current job title, current employer, st uh, the firm that they were working at, <clears throat> practice area. Remember from our previous uh, video, the practice areas that you can, that you select here will be used uh, in searches to narrow your selection uh, down the road. The experience uh, section, you know, the education, where did they graduate, do they have a master's degree, all their information, what the status of the candidate is, if it's a new, then you have all those different options that you can select uh, from, depending on the status of the process that the uh, candidate is going through right now. <clears throat> the source. You know, this is just for uh, tracking purposes. If you want to do know, if you want to know where the lead or the candidate came from, you can choose what uh, what the source of uh, the candidate uh, data is is coming from. And then you obviously can attach a resume, uh, a formatted uh, resume. You can also have a cover letter or other documents to the candidate. But uh, again, that's that's all that needs to be done. Uh, just to summarize, you go to the candidates module, add new candidate, and that's how you add a new candidate. Thank you.